Helis, here I am. Before this video starts, we want to thank the two wonderful people on screen for the help with this video. Not only did they reach out and asked us to make the video, but they also helped greatly in the making of the video, providing sources, pictures and all sorts of now deleted material. Go follow them, their socials are linked down below. This video mentions sexualization and exploitation. Please be aware and don't watch the video if these topics trigger you. Hello everybody! Today we'll talk about the girl group Daydream, which debuted back in 2020. After only one release, the group disbanded with almost all of the members leaving the company. We'll take a look at the group's history and the horrible management that they had to endure under their company. Sarang was born in 1996 and has been in the entertainment industry for quite some time before debuting with Daydream. In her early days, she was part of the dance team Happiness. Sometime in late 2017, Sarang joined Switchberry. However, she left the group some time later, never officially debuting as a member. Alim was born in 1999 and joined the pre-debut team Daydream in 2019. Sorin was born in 1998 and was also part of the pre-debut team of Daydream from 2019 onwards, before officially debuting in 2020. Chewon, under the stage name Cheha, first appeared in May of 2019 as a pre-debut member of Depop Friends. She presumably left very shortly after as she was introduced as a member of pre-debut group Midnight, not even a month later in June. She participated in the release of their third pre-release single, Algorithm, and was set to debut with the five-member group later on. However, Midnight's lineup was subject to change constantly, and with a total of 15 pre-debut members, the group disbanded without ever officially debuting in 2020. Before Midnight's official disbandment, Cheha was revealed as a member of Daydream in December of 2019, joining the three-member pre-debut group. Before her time in Daydream, she also released a solo called Bla Bla, which was only available on Korean streaming platforms. Daydream was first introduced as a dance group in June of 2019, being composed of the members Sarang, Alim and Yisul. However, Yisul left after only two performances and was replaced by member Sorin. Member Cheha was the last member to join the lineup. Her first performance with the group was in December of 2019. The group was officially announced to debut in February of 2020. Daydream officially debuted in February of 2020 with their digital single Nam Nam. After releasing the album digitally, they only posted a dance practice in February and the music video followed in late March. Until today, the MV has surpassed a combined 100,000 views across both channels it was released on. Daydream got to promote their song on music shows a total of three times. Not even two months after debut, three out of the four members were announced to have left the group. Members Cheha, Sorin and Alim all left Daydream due to conflicts with the company. Sorin wrote in a private message that she left the group due to differences with the company and work in the group. She also said that there were many reasons for her decision. Cheha claimed to have left the group due to differences with the company and people who made it difficult for her. Member Alim shared to have left the group due to conflicts with the company and personal issues. Following the departures, Great Company changed Daydream's Twitter banner, which went semi-viral as a meme across Twitter. Simultaneously with the original departures, accusations of remaining member Sarang being a bully towards the other members started spreading online. Please be aware that there is no solid proof for this, as Sarang allegedly deleted tweets calling the other members lazy and criticizing them for bad behavior. When people online criticized her for this type of behavior, an anonymous account replied, saying that there would be more information coming out soon and that member Sarang wasn't able to communicate freely due to the company. However, it is not confirmed that the anonymous account is indeed run by Sarang. Former member Sorin also brought up something similar in now deleted tweets, posting old photos of the group but cropping out member Sarang. She also again mentioned bad treatment of the company towards fans asking for an explanation.
please be aware that all of this is unconfirmed and nobody knows the truth. Following their departures, two new members were added to the group that same month. Members Ara and Maum joined the group, making Daydream a three-member group. In May, Daydream performed their debut song with the new lineup. However, a fan cam uploaded to YouTube shows that member Sarang was not wearing safety shorts and due to the short skirt, was almost completely exposed to the camera. The fan cam has reached almost 40,000 views on YouTube. The comments also include disgusting remarks sexualizing her heavily. Another fan cam of new member Ara also shows that she wasn't wearing safety shorts as well. Safety shorts are usually provided by the company to prevent events like this from happening and protecting the idols. In late May, member Sarang hinted at a possible comeback in July through Instagram Live. In mid-June, new member Maum also shared to have filmed something and the Daydream Instagram account posted pictures from the recording studio, making fans even more curious. In mid-July, Maum and Ara also went live and showed a painting of four girls, implying a new member addition to the group as well. However, later that month, member Sarang announced through Instagram that Daydream had officially disbanded. Following her announcement, Daydream disbanded after only four months. After the disbandment announcement, multiple things happened all at once. Member Ara was seen crying and walking around aimlessly on Instagram Live. She implied to have left the group a day before the official announcement. She then posted a photo with the caption, it was fun, bye, and changed her username to AraEnd36. After worried fans reached out, she confirmed she was doing fine. She later renamed her account to Ara Happy 36 Member Sarang was confused. The Daydream account unfollowed all the members' private accounts and deleted all photos of the members, but later refollowed all of them. Worried fans set up an email template to get answers from the company. However, Great Company never answered. Member Maum replied to fans' DMs and said everything was going to be okay. All of the members posted official disbandment announcements days later. The official Daydream account also posted a picture of an air conditioner as they had a connection to an AC company, according to the listment on their neighbor profile. After the mess that has been Daydream's short career, it's important to take a closer look at the company managing the group. There's actually little to no information about Great Company to find online. There are no other idols under the company and no one of the Daydream members seem to have stayed. After Daydream's disbandment, the official Daydream account mentioned a new girl group called Story Day and even held auditions in 2021, but nothing ever came of it. The company seems pretty shady, especially taking into consideration that three out of the four members left the group so shortly after their debut due to conflicts with the company. Ara was with Daydream for a little over two months before the official disbandment. Her last appearance was in early May. She revived her YouTube channel Ara Land, which she had used even before her debut with the group and frequently posts dance covers. After Daydream disbanded, Ara joined Aftermoon Entertainment, who were looking for new members for their group We Girls. After not being chosen as a new member, Ara left the company. We Girls ended up disbanding in early 2022. In late 2021, Ara was also announced as the newest member of the dance team Babies. They later announced to be debuting an idol group N-Day, however, plans fell through and Babies will remain a dance group while N-Day is planning to debut in 2022. She's also part of the dance team Zero, alongside former member Maum. Maum, who goes under her birth name Heejin, is active on Instagram. Nothing is known about her future career in the industry. She sometimes temporarily joins dance team Babies for busking events alongside Ara. Member Sarang is currently active as an influencer with over 50,000 followers on Instagram. She posts very regularly and seems to be enjoying life. There are no news of her returning to idol life. Sarang was rumored to become a part of We Girls for a short amount of time, however it was later proven false and the original account claiming that was deleted. She also used to have a personal Twitter account for a very short amount of time, 
She closed it down pretty quickly as she got accused of bullying and people started to curse at her in the comments. Member Sorin, just as Ara did, joined Aftermoon Entertainment to become a possible new member of their girl group We Girls. After not being chosen, she left the company. She's active on Instagram, but there are no news of her returning to the industry. Member Alim joined Liz Entertainment in mid-2020 under her new stage name Yehua. She was announced as a new member of their upcoming girl group 06 in late 2020. Officially announced to be debuting in February of 2021, the month passed with no updates or releases, with all the members staying active across social media. In December that same year, due to the delayed group debut, it was revealed that member Cindy would make her solo debut first. After debuting in May of 2022, Liz Entertainment updated their website in June, removing the profiles of the remaining 406 members, including Yehua. She is currently active on Instagram, but hasn't shared any news. Member Cheha also joined Liz Entertainment after departing from Daydream due to the conflict with the company. She also started to use the stage name Cindy from here. She was introduced as a member of the project group Chic and Eyes in June of 2020, a group featuring members from all groups under Liz Entertainment. In July that same year, Cindy shared that she was expecting to make her debut as a member of the upcoming girl group 06, alongside Yehua, known as Alim in Daydream. As already mentioned, the debut of 06 was delayed and it was announced that Cindy was going to release her solo debut single before the official group debut. Mermaid was released in late May of 2022. In June of 2022, Cindy was listed as a solo artist under Liz Entertainment on their website, while also still mentioning her as a member of 06. The other four members of 06 have been removed from the website. The future of the group is currently unknown. Cindy uses the group's social media as a soloist and posts very frequently. The story of Daydream goes to show what price aspiring idols are willing to pay to stand on stage. Super small companies like Great Company are pretty common and there are hardly any cases in which debut groups from these companies survive longer than a year or two. Great Company clearly had no budget to debut Daydream in the first place. They were not able to have a music video until one month after their single release and even then the MV was super low budget. The promotions for the group were also very lackluster, the girls were only able to perform on music shows for three times. There was also little to no content being released to help with promotions. All in all, the girls deserved a lot better. The company also continuously did weird things like posting about air conditioners or emptying the social media accounts. The three members that left also implied that the company mistreated them but they can't legally speak about it. This is especially worrisome considering the heavy sexualization the girls went through as they weren't provided with safety shorts for their performances. Great company might have suffered financially due to the pandemic, but their intentions to debut a new group right after Daydream's disbandment prove otherwise. Even after Daydream disbanded and most of the members tried to find other ways to get up on stage again, except for Cindy, none of them have really found success in the idol industry. It is a really harsh place and seeing young and super talented and ambitious people get exploited and not being able to reach their dream is really heartbreaking. Daydream was very short-lived and most people that know about them remember them as the editing meme. However, behind that, there are six hardworking girls who did everything to present themselves in the best light possible. If you can, please support the former members' future paths. Their social media accounts will be linked down below. Thank you for watching.